Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. Paul says that we should focus and fix our thoughts on what is pure. Purity originally referred to an attribute of the divinity and everything belonging to it. How pure does something have to be to be considered absolutely pure? Is it sufficient to be 99 and 44 one-hundredths pure like ivory soap? What about the 56 one-hundredths impurity? Does that mess things up? True purity, like God, is to be pure from every fault, free from moral impurity. James explains how we as humans can pursue purity. He says, come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Another translation says, don't be double-minded. If you're going to follow Christ, be all in, not trying to ride the fence between godliness and anything less than godliness. It starts with a relationship with pursuing God himself. Peter gives us further insight. He says, since you have in obedience to the truth purified your souls for sincere love of the brethren, fervently love one another from the heart. God is already pure, but if we are to be pure, we have to go back to Paul's list in Philippians 4, 8. Fix your thoughts on what is true. The truth of God is what makes our love for others pure, not watered down, not hypocritical. Heavenly Father, you are more than 99.9% .9 pure, or whatever percentage. You're 100% unblemished and untainted. You know that we live in a mixed world here. Some things are pure, some are impure. Help us to obey the truth that you teach us so that we can share in the purity of your character and your love. In Jesus' name, amen.